call the meeting to order. A um, little bit of a change in the normal agenda. Uh, before we have um, asked people from the floor to speak, um, Chris DePaulo in his uh, board notes a couple of weeks ago uh, talked, you know, uh, talked about a trip that students went to uh, Bassett Health Center Hospital. And, um, and uh, it seemed fascinating and exciting, so we asked that they uh, have a presentation by the students on the new trip. And so, take it away, Chris. I'm not going to do any of the talk. I'm going to leave it to Ms. Bowerman and our lovely seventh grader. She came to join us tonight. This is McKenna Higgins. I'm Eliza Hopkins. They're here to help me. Uh, but we're going to talk about our seventh grade field trip to Bassett Medical Center, which corresponds to our biology and our health uh, curriculum. It was first developed by Dr. Lansing. And he was a chief of cardiac surgery. And we've been going here for about 12 years with our, our students. When you get there, there's three core parts to the skill chip. The first one is an interactive discussion with the medical staff there. And then the new vision students are a recent addition. The students that uh, our resident students at the hospital, they're seniors in high school. They set up different stations for our students to go around and do hands-on activities that correspond to what they're learning. And then at the end of the session, at the end of the day, we see an open heart surgery video. What Dr. Lindsay found through his research is that we develop heart disease when we're young in our habits. And so he's targeting seventh graders and middle schoolers to have heart healthy habits. So what they, ch what they chose to uh, emphasize is avoiding smoking, having a low fat, low sugar diet, regular exercise, and getting the proper amount of sleep. So I'm gonna help my students tell you what they learned, and we have a couple of uh, pictures to show what they were doing with them. So what the surgeons did, they clamped the aorta and then injected it with potassium to make the heart stop so they can do surgery on it. Um, before they did that, they cut open the sternum, and after the surgery, they closed it up. The number one reason why people get heart disease is because they smoke. Um, we saw them put a stint that clears up the blockage, and they also told us that exercise lowers the risk for heart disease. Um, Could we ask questions as you go along? Like if they stop the heart, how come they don't die? Because they hook the heart up to a machine and it pumps the blood through the body without the heart pump. One of our students was hooked up to the EKG, EKG and we saw their heart beat. Um, some activities that the new vision students showed us was that we use different size straws to show what it's like for a smoker to be. The Bassett, Bassett also showed us a video around inside the operation room. He showed us the Marines around and what people do when they aren't doing the surgery. Um, from the new vision students, we learned that vitamin water has the amount of sugar you need in a day. I'm sorry, what else? Vitamin water. Really? One bottle of vitamin water has total amount of sugar that you need in one day. So you can't have any other sugar. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> There's less sugar in monster than there is in Gatorade. And then um, during the video we saw that um, the surgeon squeezed a smoker's lungs. And he also showed us that the smoker's lungs were black from all the tar. So I asked these two to just write down a couple things they learned. And they did all of that on their own. So it definitely stuck with them. This is them squeezing the lung. Um, so if you squeeze the healthy lung, it inflates very easily back up. And then he also squeezed a uh, smoker's lung in it. Um, to end this, we have a uh, competition. The students can either write a letter, write an essay, do a poster, or do a video um, of what they learned and how to promote heart healthy. And this is Eliza's video. Hello, my name is Eliza Hopkins. 
so I got a hand here in the middle. I'm on an open heart surgery field trip, and I'm here to tell you the do's and don'ts to lower your risk of heart disease. Stay tuned to find out. The do's. Do exercise. If you do at least 60 minutes of exercise every day, you'll be lowering your risk of heart disease. Have a healthy diet plan. Sure, you can go have like treats, whatever you want, but just make sure that you eat healthy things like fruits and vegetables. The don'ts. Don't drink or smoke. Smoking and drinking will raise your risk of heart disease 70%. That's a lot. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my presentation on the do's and don'ts of lowering your risk of heart disease. Any other questions? I was just wondering, did this experience make you think that you might be interested in doing medicine? Why? session for a few minutes and